Y'all hear that? That's the heater finally turning on. But yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Welcome back to the page, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the TV show, Screen TV, yeah. I know y'all hear that, cause it was, it's kinda chilly before. But on this episode, we're gonna talk about something that I need the laptop for, cause I'm not gonna remember all the names. We're gonna talk about Dornbeckers and how Dornbeckers are finally, I wanna say, looking nice again. I remember last year's Dornbecker, Gar, Bidge. Like, really rubbish. All the shoes back last year. I know, I know, I know. Children made these shoes, Squin. Go easy on them, Squin. Nah. The shoes are rubbish. Every single one of them, trash. I didn't pick up not one. <laughs> 2017 Dornbeckers, I want to say, they wasn't that bad. I take it back. I want to say, like, looking down on the screen right now, I'm going to say the best one was probably... The air up tempos, but like Damn D said, big up yourself, Damn D. Uh, they were too kiddish. Now, if we're gonna talk about 2016 pair, 2016 Dornbreakers, once again, very, very is is more like a collectible piece. You could put it up, bam, in a glass box. That's it. You're not gonna wear them, cause those sevens look like blood shots. Eh. The only thing about the sevens that was fire was the sole. The sole of the sevens were beautiful. I liked the artwork, but the shoe itself wasn't too good. Every other shoe was eh. But by far none. One of the worst Stormbreaker collections, I'll have to say, I'll give it up to 2015. 2015, I guess, I guess the kids just wanted to be kids. Did an art project because the 13s, <laughs> who wear those? I don't see anybody wearing any of the shoes from 2015 Dornbrecker release. Let's be honest. The LeBrons, garbage. The 13s, rubbish. Everything else, fireball, flame, hot trash. Then I like any of them. But let's get it back to 2018 though. 2000, no, no, no. 2018 Dornbrecker release, when Nike finally revealed them i was happy because i was actually waiting i was like yo can you guys please do something right like nike gave up on a lot of stuff uh the black friday shoe isn't hot anymore the all-star shoes <laughs> let's not talk about that all-star shoes used to be fire now they're pfft. even even the black history month shoes they aren't that great they're not that great anymore so I was really looking forward to the Dornbrecker or revealing, and I'm happy for it. I'm happy to see what these kids done with the shoes. Even shoes I don't like, they're okay. Like the Jordan 15s, I'm not a big fan of that silhouette. But black and gold, eh, they could have done better. But mm, it's a wearable shoe. The 2000, what is it? The 270s, those are those are actually good. The the camo with the gold in the back, mm, mm, I like. I like those. The Air Forces, not really a big fan of Air Force, but I will have to say those Air Forces are very wearable. Air Max 97s, they're actually not that bad. I like the spray paint on the side. However, I will not be going for those. The Vape, what is this? The Zoom Fly SPs. This look like a What the SP, and everybody who liked the What the theme will definitely be getting this shoe right here. As for me, the big hitter. The shoes that I'm going to try to get, but I'm going to get an L because the sneaker app doesn't like me. Will be the SBs. As you see, one foot of the shoe, the bottom is icy blue. Really great. I like that. And the other one is a green tint. Don't know what's behind that one. But as you see, the fried chicken on one side because he likes fried chicken just like me. So on the back of the shoe, you have his name, Joey Bates. I'm not gonna lie, he he knocked the shoe out of the park. This shoe is one of the best uh, Dornbeckers that we have in a while, and that's really sad to say. But I will be getting these, and it is for you know it's for a good cause. So maybe I don't have to be so harsh. In the inside of the shoes, one chicken is in an airplane, the other chicken is in a tank, and I think that's really cartoonish. It's very cute, and it's a kiddish shoe, and it's a good collector piece, and that's why I'm going for it. 
Dornbreakers, Dornbreakers, Dornbreakers. They're always hard to get, but it's for a good cause. So if I'm going to go for it, let me go for it. Please don't crash the site just to resell it. I don't think that, I don't think any of these shoes in the 2018 collection is going to go for, excuse me, it's going to go for, I want to say over 300. It should be under. These shoes are not bangers for you to charge what you used to charge for old Dornbreakers. The only Dornbreakers I want, because I have none in my collection, the one that I'm really going for is definitely going to be the Dornbreaker 9s. I need those in my collection because I love 9s. 9 is one of my favorite silhouette. So I'm going to go after those one day in my life. I will have them and I will show you guys my reaction when I open that box. <sighs> when I finally get them. But until that time, guys, I'm just going to keep copping GRs and some limited hype shoes in the meanwhile just keep watching my videos and remember love manas and respect i'm out see you guys in the next episode all right